Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cyber Safety Net Stay Safe Online, episode 111. Why you are not under the radar for ransomware. That's right. You are not under the radar for ransomware. And I want to present a definition of ransomware from dictionary.com. I'm going to read this twice for those who have audio only. Ransomware is malware planted illegally in a computer or mobile device that disables its operation or access to its data until the owner or operator pays to regain control or access. Ransomware is malware, and malware is malicious software that would include keystroke recorders, it would record adware that generates pop-up ads every 30 seconds. It would also include software that records what you have on your screen then send it back to the publisher. So ransomware is malware planted illegally in a computer or mobile device that disables its operation or access to its data until the owner or operator pays to regain control or access. It's dangerous. Today's presentation is sponsored by my fourth book, How Hacks Happen. In How Hacks Happen, there are two author personas. There's me, Mark, the good guy, who wants to protect you. There's Brad Cracker, the bad guy, who wants to rip you off. Brad Cracker is good at hacking. He says hacking is easy, and he likes the easy money. Back in episode 102, I introduced the CIA triad, or the Confidentiality, Integrity, Availability triad. And here we're talking about ransomware, which blocks your access to your data. You open up a Microsoft Excel workbook and you get computer garbage because it's encrypted. I think this falls onto the availability domain of the CIA triad because your data is not available if it's encrypted. I also think this falls under the confidentiality domain because a lot of ransomware publishers say that if you don't pay the ransom within 24 hours or 48 hours, they take all the financial and human resources secrets you've been holding confidential and they publish them online. So the confidentiality is gone. Availability and confidentiality, both affected by ransomware. Now, when I talk about ransomware and the CIA triad on stage, I talk about us being rich Americans. Rich Americans are popular targets. There's always somebody in the front row or the front two rows who says, ah, rich Americans, he's never seen the bills I pay each month. And they think I can't hear them, but I do, because you can hear a lot when you're on stage. In order to be a rich American, you need one of three criteria. You need a credit card. You need a home that is 800 square feet or larger. And you need a car that starts on the first try. A credit card, a home that is 800 square feet or larger, and a car that starts on the first try. I'm not setting the bar that high, now am I? Last summer, ransomware hit a Christian college in Spokane, Washington. And you may say, Mark, what did they do to deserve that? They did nothing to deserve it, except I would argue that they were low-hanging fruit, which is something I'll be discussing in the next video. But Whitworth College in Spokane got hit by ransomware. The website went down, the network went down, and it was late summer, back when students were coming back to school. It was the worst possible time for Whitworth College to go offline. See, you are never under the radar. I know your time is valuable. I know there are other places you could have been, but you chose to be here, you chose to listen to me talk about ransomware and why you are not under the radar. And for that, I thank you, Mark Anthony Chimanos.